Well, thanks for having us over for breakfast, Mark. You bet, Todd. Nice. Every time. This was a great idea, too. I mean, I enjoy naturally and artificially sweetened chocolatey cereal. It's my favorite. But especially ones with uh, whole grains as the first ingredient. Even better. Oh, uh, I'm telling you what. Well, I, I got one news for you. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Rod. <laughs> So Todd, have we convinced you to join Coco Raz? I keep hearing about Coco Raz. What is Coco Raz? It's the Community Collaborative Rain, Hail, and Snow Network. Coco Raz. Right, Mark? It right. Sounds, <laughs> sounds kind of like a chocolatey cereal. So how do you join it? Well, you go to CocoRaz.org. That's C-O-C-O-R-A-H-S dot O-R-G. CocoRaz.org. And you register right up. You'll take about, I don't know, a few minutes to go through the form. There's an online form. The beauty about Coco Raz is there's some great online training. So any question that you may have about Coco Raz, go to the website and they have a great training uh, set up. Some nice uh, FAQ section. Nice videos. Videos. Anything you need to know. So here. Much better than what we're doing right now. <laughs> Kokoraz is a non-profit, community-based network of volunteer weather observers that report rain, hail, and snow. This community is made up of volunteers of all ages, but each member shares an enthusiasm to watch and report the weather while continuing to learn more about weather and its impacts. Kokoraz observers are found in all 50 states. By joining Kokoraz, you can help fill in the gaps that exist between rainfall measurements. Your precipitation reports will help meteorologists, hydrologists, and climatologists build detailed data sets and analyses of rain, snow, and even hail. The agricultural industry, engineers, emergency managers, and many others will also see the benefits of your precipitation measurements. This gauge right here is uh, about $27, $28, I believe. And shipping and handling, of course, might run in the low 30s. But it's a pretty low-cost tool that has such great benefit. And it's very durable, I will tell you that. I've had this thing knocked around. <laughs> I have grandkids, so I've had them knocked around and stuff, and you know, it, it yeah. you know, stands up pretty well. So, how does it work? All you need is a standard 4-inch diameter rain gauge, an internet connection, and a little enthusiasm about observing the weather. We got four tenths of an inch, Dad. Wow. And contributing to this great collaborative effort. You'll report any precipitation amounts each morning using a simple online form. This uh, chocolate milk is outstanding. Oh, it is. It's mm. Too bad it's not in here, huh? It's almost as if you're having ice cream for breakfast. Well, if only our mothers knew what we were eating for breakfast here right now, they would probably have a fit. But back to Kokoraz, they wouldn't have a fit if we had our Kokoraz gauge out back in the backyard. Well, when you order this gauge, Todd will come to you in a box. The worst place to have this gauge is in the box. So take it out, do your best to sight, you know, obviously in a, as open a location as you have. This few up here locally. I mean, if you're in an urban area, and a lot of our observers are, just do your best to find a, you know, spot away from fence lines, away from trees and vegetation, and you'll do wonders in terms of uh, helping us share that information. And it is shared far and wide, Mark. National Weather Service uses it. Uh, a lot of the water resource management folks in various states use it. It's in this program is in all 50 states. And in addition, you can see that data from all 50. I mean, it's uh, it's in text. It's also shown graphically or in you know map form. This valuable information will help forecasters fine tune their forecast and weather warnings as a key ingredient to any quality forecast is a quality observational analysis. Visit www.cocoraz.org where you can sign up to become a volunteer observer. You'll quickly find how easy it is to join this great network of weather enthusiasts. And who knows, you may even go cuckoo for Coco Raz. So what reason would, might you have not to join us? I don't think you have any. I think I'm sold. I think I'm going to be cuckoo for Coco Rose. Excellent.
Oh my god! <laughs> you really are cuckoo for Coco Rods. I am cuckoo for Coco Rods. You like I'm it? Not kidding. I do. Marky likes it. Bowl four. Action. <laughs> hey, it's my it's my pleasure. You know, um, I'm. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go from there. They say breakfast is the most important part of the day. It's the most important part of the meal of the day because I don't know if I'll make it to dinner. I'm going for cocoa. Like oh. Think... You know. Oh gosh, I had one thing out and one thing in. Should it be out or in? It was totally as ad lib as it's I'm like, I was in shock. I'm like, oh my god. That's what he said, so I did. Sorry.